LiveRack Interactive Visual Exploration of System Management Time Series Data. We show LiveRack, a visualization system for viewing large quantities of time series data in the domain of system management. Monitor devices are represented by rows. This label shows aggregate information about a group, NFS, with four devices. Columns show one or many parameters collected from the devices. This column shows CPU usage. In the current overview, each cell is a small colored block. In these four cells, green means CPU utilization is above 35%. As I make the cells larger, labels for the individual devices become visible. Also, when the cells get big enough, the server is queried for more data, and then the representation changes from blocks to spark lines. Making a cell even bigger results in semantic zooming to show a more detailed line graph. We can see the current time range by looking at the time boxes to the bottom left and bottom right of the data area. The blue lines show progressive search results. I'm searching on NFS to flag the devices I've already stretched out. Interpreting Network Environment State I'm acting in the role of a network administrator interested in looking at CPU utilization of the top few offenders. I begin by sorting the CPU column and then performing a stretch operation on the top few rows to obtain more detailed trend information. The spark lines show trend data for one week. The red squares on each trend line indicate a high water mark. I can see a number of the web devices share the same high water mark in the middle of the week. Load, a measure that accounts for I.O. in addition to CPU usage, was also at a peak for this device during this time, but I noticed this was not the case for Scoop, where load peaked early in the week and CPU later on. I.O. load was also not correlated to CPU usage on Tweak. We can see a steep drop in the number of processes running on Tweak at the exact same time as Manipulator. This drop correlates with a drop in memory usage, which freed up some swap memory as well. When I grow the memory and swap cells for Tweak, I can see that a small, slow increase in memory usage was enough to cause the swap in the first place, and that it seems to run quite near the threshold where swapping begins. This device can definitely benefit from more memory. Manipulator does not share these characteristics. We can see that memory usage built through the week for Manipulator, correlating with the period of heavy CPU utilization and load, but that the memory was properly released when load dropped and no swap was used. I expand my time window to six months to see whether some of these trends extend over a longer period of time. Six months is a large query, so it takes a while to get the new data from the server located on the other side of the country, which stores data for dozens of parameters on thousands of devices across several years. The yellow dots show that the new data hasn't arrived yet, but I can still interactively explore on the visualization client in the meantime. Here is an interesting trend. The utilization on Scoop is trending downwards. We can also see that there was a steep drop in memory usage on several devices in August. Network inbound and outbound traffic also seems to be trending downwards. I might want to consider consolidating some of these devices if these trends continue. This data is pretty interesting, so I'll dump a report to show my customer. I preview the data here and then export it to Excel. Incident Investigation The alarm column has a red box showing a critical alarm. I scroll the mouse wheel to zoom until I can see when it occurred. The height of the bar shows that four alarms were triggered between 9 and 10. I check the device's alarm log for details. We've sanitized the alarm text to avoid exposing the name of a corporate client, since this is real data, but to summarize, the alarms indicate the collector couldn't get data from this device. I can also see some interesting trend information in the spark lines. A steep peak in CPU usage, and another in network usage. There is a steep drop in memory usage, and also in swap, and a spike in ping loss when the device was completely unavailable. We conclude that the device was writing data to disk, which freed memory but prevented other responses. Tuning the processes to write to disk more regularly would avoid such choked writes in the future. Large Scale Infrastructure Monitoring this view shows data for around 4,000 aggregated devices at the top and bottom and 263 spark lines in a focus area of 28 devices. We demonstrate how aggregation works by compressing this region. In the PROX column, the red critical marker stays visible even as we compress 28 devices, only one of which is marked in red, into less than 28 pixels. In this aggregated view, we change the sort parameter from CPU to out packets, and that column now has all the red boxes at the top. We can check for correlations visually. 
The memory column has a cluster of red marks, aligned without packets, as does file system. LiveRack's guaranteed visibility infrastructure allows us to safely perform these comparisons without inspecting the non-red areas in detail because critical marks don't disappear no matter how small they are.